سبحان الله ومن يؤمن بالله يهدي قلبه and Allah جل وعلا knows everything then Allah جل وعلا introduced another important principle what is that principle after listing those aqida elements Allah جل وعلا said وأطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول obey Allah and obey his messenger if you turned away فإن توليتم then you should know that we will punish you it is not our prophet who is going to punish you فإنما على رسول البلاغ المبين indeed our messenger is only a conveyor he conveys the message only and as you know that as Ibn Abbas said the three ayat always our three commands always come with three other commands in three ayat and he mentioned that when Allah Jalla Ala commanded us to obey him or to obey uh, to, to, to uh, obey the parents normally it is mentioned uh, after obeying Allah Jalla Ala and the second one is when Allah Jalla Ala commands us to obey him he commands us to obey the messenger وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولِ And this confirms, this confirms that uh, those who claim that they are Qur'anis, they believe in the Qur'an and they don't uh, listen to the, uh, or they, they don't believe in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and they don't follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are misguided. Why? Because Allah Jalla Ala said, وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولِ وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهِ وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولِ And as the scholar said, if you obey Allah, but you did not obey the Prophet, in fact, you did not obey Allah in the first place. And uh, as some of them say, no, we believe in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because this is a clear ayah, وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهِ وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولِ But... The sunnah that has been narrated now and recorded in books like Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim and etc. is not really confirmed that this is what the Prophet ﷺ said. Had it been confirmed that it is what the Prophet ﷺ said, then we would have listened to it. Okay? You have to understand their logic. It's not just simply that they reject the sunnah. Yeah? Okay? And the answer for them is to say, when Allah Jalla wa Ala said, وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولِ It means that He knows that we will know about what the Prophet Sallallahu said. We as other generations other than the companions. Otherwise, what is the point of Him, Jalla wa Ala, revealing the Qur'an to the whole mankind, irrespective of the place, irrespective of the time? So when he commanded us to obey the messenger, he knew that we will have access to the messenger. How do we uh, have access to the messenger? Through the sunnah. Which means that Allah commanded us to follow whatever we have. We knew about the sunnah of the Prophet Whatever Whatever sunnah reached us is what Allah wanted us to obey. Yeah? Otherwise, there is no point of Ati'ur uh, Rasul. And by the way, uh, I had a discussion with, with uh, a person who is, uh, I, don't, I don't know what they call them, pervases or uh, Qur'aniyun. Yeah? And I told him, why do you differentiate between Qur'an and Sunnah? And he said, because Qur'an is preserved. And I said, Sunnah, the Sunnah is not preserved. Okay, just to cut it short, I said to him, but Quran is Sunnah. But Quran is Sunnah. So he said, no, Quran is Quran. I said, no, Quran is Sunnah. He said, no, Quran is Quran. I said, no, think about it. Who brought the Sunnah? Is the Prophet. Who brought the Quran? He said Allah. I said yes, Allah. But who Allah revealed it to who? To you? 
to the Prophet. So who brought the Quran? Is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Agree? Yeah. Who brought both? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And he is the one. This is another point. He is the one who told us about the Quran that it is a Quran. <laughs> Agree? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. How did we know that this is a Quran? Because there is a Sunnah that says that this is Quran. Yes? One time the Prophet ﷺ was sleeping and then he woke up and then he said, I received, Jibreel just came to me and recited, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, inna a'tainaka al-kawthar, fasalli li rabbi gawnhar, inna shani aka huwa labta. So this statement, or this chapter, yes, is dependent on what? On the hadith. Agree? Is dependent on the hadith. So if we do not believe in the hadith, we will not believe in it. Because who brought it is the hadith. So it is based on the hadith. Is it clear? So it took some time to for him to understand this. And then when he understood it, you can see that his face changed. Subhanallah. As if the shaytan was confusing him. And I said to him, now you have no choice but either to believe in both or to disbelieve in both. Because both came through what? One source. One source. If you accept this, you would accept this. He said, yes, but the Quran preserved. I said, how the Quran was preserved? Through narrations. And we say the same thing, Sunnah was preserved through narrations. He said, but there are manuscripts from the Quran, old manuscripts. I said, what is the nearest manuscript to the Quran? The nearest manuscript or the oldest, sorry, the oldest manuscript, uh, which is the nearest to the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is it? طيب. They say, Uthman ibn Affan, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, wrote it. I said, yes, okay, that is fine. But we have not seen that of Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. This is a possibility. The, th- the second thing is, between the time of Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa there is 20 plus years, all, almost 20 plus years. So there is a gap. Yes? Moreover, there are some sunnah that was recorded in a very early age. Will you accept that sunnah that was recorded in a very early age or not? So if you accept Quran because it was recorded in a very early age, you should accept at least the sunnah that was recorded in what? In a very early age. Moreover, why did you believe in what is written more than what is memorized? Is it just because the Quran was found written by Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you believed in the Quran and you rejected in the Sunnah because it was not recorded at a very early age? Are you following? Is it because it is written? Yeah, maybe the memory is more stronger than what is written. Moreover, who told you that this copy of the Quran that was found is actually what Uthman wrote? Who told you this? Who told you this? You have to go and to accept what the narrators say. Yes? Because the narrators, who are human beings, narrated that this copy has been found. Yes, and it is the one that Uthman, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, wrote. Are you following this? Which means that you have accepted 
the interference of human beings in narrating the, the revelation. And this is your problem. That you do not accept the interference of human being in narrating the divine scripture. So if you reject this, it means that you are going to reject the whole deen. Yes? And of course, the other thing is, Allah Jalla wa ala, Allah Jalla wa ala have seen the ummah since the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay? have seen the Ummah during the time of the Sahaba, the Tabi'een, the Atba'a Tabi'een, fourth generation, fifth generation, sixth generation, following, yes, as you claim, fabricated books. And he allowed them. <coughs> Would Allah do this? That allow thousands, millions or trillions of people to be misguided and does not give them any indication that they were they were misguided? Come on. This is not Allah. Allah wouldn't do something like this. Allah is so merciful. Allah will not let people to go astray, all of them. Yes? And then he will punish them because they went astray. But he punished them, he will punish them for something that is not in their control. Will Allah just allow them to go astray and then punish them? No. Allah will send them what clear guidance. So definitely Allah accepts the sunnah that they are going to follow. And that's why Allah commanded us, وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولِ Anyway, yeah, that, that, inshallah it is clear. فَإِن تَوَلَّيْتُمْ If you just turn away, you don't obey Allah, or you don't obey the messenger, فَإِنَّمَا عَلَى رَسُولِنَا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ And this is, again, subhanallah, 